Views expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of WPSL. However, you're encouraged to like and share them on Facebook because it's time for Joanne's World of Nutrition, brought to you by Nutrition World in the historic arcade building across from City Hall in downtown Fort Pierce. And here's your host, Joanne Seeger. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Thank you so much for spending some time with us this morning. Um, You know, I was actually on time this morning. I think Balloon should have, like, come out of the door when I walked in. (laughs) I feel like I've been... Somebody somebody came in just before you let him out. I know, I know, right? Oh, my gosh, isn't it crazy? (laughs) Um, But you know what? It's The funniest thing is um, I have a lot of Facebook friends, but there is one Facebook friend that I have that just posts the most amazing research and he's extremely insightful and I've known him for a very long time and he actually comes to my store once a month for blood testing Um, and literally late last night I said you know what wonder if he would do the show with me and so I text him and sure enough at midnight I get a text sure I'll do it So this morning, um, in just a couple minutes, he'll be joining us. It's Dr. Christopher Allison. Um, He has blessed me with his presence at the store once a month for all our customers. He does blood testing, but it's so way beyond this. This man is so insightful, so intuitive, so intelligent. um, And he really helps all my customers for only $50 um, for the the session and so um, he'll be joining us just after the breathing exercise so please you really want to stay tuned for this man has so much knowledge um, so I'm gonna like get him for all I can in the hour um, and he has a phenomenal website if you look up Christopher Allison.com he has an amazing website we're gonna discuss some of his August articles that he posted there um, so but we must do the breathing exercise. I definitely need it. So any newbies listening to the show, welcome, welcome. Um, we just do this quick breathing exercise every Thursday morning to really get us focused and centered and try to encourage uh, the discussion of breath. Um, I love it. There's so many amazing apps out now that remind us to breathe. I used to laugh about them, but I find myself shallow breathing all day long like most of us. And then we try to take a deep breath. And sometimes it's hard to come by. Stress does so, that. Yeah, and just, just multitasking our lives away. So mm-hmm. let's exhale out, exhale out all the drama, the stress, um, any junk going on in our heads or bodies. And then mm-hmm. we're going to inhale through our nose for five, hold for five, and exhale for five. Okay. All right. And Cliff, our expert counter, is going to guide us along. Oh, Ready, okay. Cliff? You're going to do it three times? Three times. Well, let's do two because I think um, he just rang in. Oh, so we'll just okay. do two times. All righty, everybody. Let go. it all out. Exhale. <sighs> Get ready through the nostrils. Close your mouth and inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Slowly release. One, two, three, four. Five. Now again, inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Release. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you, Cliff. You that was awesome. Open your eyes now. If Yay. You're <laughs> oh, gosh. I always feel better after that. Um, so if you're just tuning in, welcome to the show. Our guest today is Christopher Allison. And I think he is on the line. I, I believe he is. He is. Good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning, Joanne. How are you doing? Good. I was giving our listeners a little intro about a little history about us. Um, I am so excited. Thank you for this last minute um, yes and invite. I just, I was telling the listeners that I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I love watching you on Facebook and everything you have to say and the your the way that you converse your knowledge to all of my customers is amazing the you know i i guess i don't know if i should call it bedside manner but just your communication (laughs) skills your your knowledge the way you you know you uh, bring it to just us lay people it's awesome so thank you for that Uh, (laughs) well it's uh, a blessing for me to be able to be on your show and share whatever it is that i can share Awesome. Just part of part of who I am. Yeah. I which, help people. And 
Chris, can you just start by telling the um, audience just a little bit about yourself, just a couple minutes of your background? Well, sure. I'd be happy to. And uh, basically, I was born into an engineering family. and I was, I was born with this engineering brain that just wants to know, well, how are all these things fitting together? And so as a young person, I was taking things apart and putting them back together again. And then as I got to be older and started to learn that, hey, you know what? Our bodies are <clears throat> amazingly complex in the way everything fits together. And I wanted to find out just what makes us tick. And so the more that I started to get into that, the more I realized, hey, I have to share this with people. And, uh, and did. And so I had about... 30 years old, old or so, I changed my career from being a, a builder, contractor, to um, holistic health. Decided to go and be a doctor of oriental medicine because it has a very wide practice of scope of the practice. And then functional medicine because that really has to do with how does the body work together, how do all the systems communicate, what does it take to allow the systems to communicate properly and um and so that's why well that's super interesting you know chris i don't know if you've ever heard me at the store but i use you know um building analogies all the time you know when i'm trying to get people to understand how you know when you're building a house or any you know um building like you really need to like think of all the parts you know working together as one just like the body <laughs> so yeah that's absolutely true and I use I use stories like that also. Yeah, and that's what I yeah I love. I, people really do understand when you're trying to explain to them in a half hour, you know, so many things. It's you know um, I'm sure it's overwhelming for you. You know, sometimes I might just eavesdrop. You know, and I do hear <laughs> them like in you know 20 minutes tell you their whole life history and then in 10 minutes you have to explain to them you know how to get it all sorted out so kind of funny and this is why you feel the way that you do exactly exactly and these yeah. are the things that you can do to help alleviate some of the miscommunication in our system so that everything can hook up in alignment and you can have the life that you actually choose to have Oh, I love that. Yes, that you choose to have. And, you know, I noticed on your website, which I gave everyone your website address earlier, um, you know, you do kind of carry that theme across um, the information of far, as far as choice, you know. And you and I express to people on a daily basis that we are faced with choices, some easier than others, um, but it is a choice. It's It's not that, you know, you're born with this bad brain, bad body, bad genetics, you know, we have the option to um, change things. And now the research backs up our thoughts. And, you know, it's, it's kind of like really super cool, isn't it? It's like, you know, it's like, okay, you don't just wake up and get stuck, you know, you can, you know, take a different step into a better direction and, you know, feel better. And like you said, the choice life, is ours. Life itself is super cool. That is for sure. Yes. And, um, you know, and, and you mentioned genetics. And that is, that's one of the aspects that I do study and bring into some of the um, sessions that I do. And so, you know, a lot of people think that we are, we are born as a clean slip. And from my perspective, by the time we're you know, coming down the chute and we're actually born into this world, we have a tremendous amount of influences that already who we are and so we, you know we do have genetics and our genetics do come from our parents and they do have an effect on the way that our biochemistry can work and we do have emotions we, we have the perspective of what it was like to be carried by mom what was she going through when she was carrying you what was her relationship to her husband or her boyfriend or her parents or her friends and all of that ties into giving us a platform from where we start. And from that point, then we can make a choice. Okay, well, you know, I have a tendency to interact with the world in this way. Does it really serve me or not? And if it doesn't serve me, well, then what can I do that does? 
what can I do that brings alignment in myself, to the universe, to the people around me, so that life just flows through. Yeah, uh, that sounds really rewarding too. It's just, and, and you know, it's kind of like, you know, some of, we get stuck in, well, this all doesn't work, so why bother? And um, I never really understood that thinking because you're the one suffering. You know, it's not necessarily the others around you. You're the one suffering by the choices. So, you know, it's hard yes. for me to life understand that. Life circumstances are going to happen. Our suffering is up to us. Exactly right. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Ten percent of what happens, and then ninety percent of how you react to it. So Absolutely. it's yeah, and crazy. And so some of my listeners might be like, okay, so what does this guy actually do at Joanne's store? So um, could you tell us what you actually all that little magic you perform in my office um, <laughs> with the customers? So they come in um, for their appointment time and they sit down. Um, what is it that you actually do? Well, it's a relatively simple process. Um, I take a drop of blood, just like you know, a finger stick, like a diabetic finger stick. And there's this one tiny little drop of blood that goes on a piece of glass called a slide. And then I put another piece of glass on top of it called a cover stick. And that keeps it um, separated out from the environment. And I put that on the microscope. It's a, it's a, it's a great microscope. It's a nice and round optic and a very high resolution camera on it. So that takes a picture as a video stream of the blood and sends it over to a widescreen monitor so we can actually see the drop of blood that just came out of the finger. And based on <clears throat> the person's life experience, the foods that they eat, the emotional strength they have, their biochemistry, their genetics, and all that kind of goes together and affects the body and what's going on in the body affects blood and I can see a lot of that in the blood and then describe what I'm seeing, um, what's really great, what maybe could be some improvement and start laying out some of the foundations of what can change to have a more fulfilling, more energetic, free flowing life. Oh, that sounds perfect. And I know too, um, it's great because people leave with um, so much information from you. I know that Sometimes um, people walk into appointments and they're overwhelmed and they really don't leave with anything. And so it's like a little mind boggling. But you have, you know, a couple sheets that you give each person that explains what you saw and, you know, the information that you're giving them as well, like extremely detailed. So I thank you yeah, for that. Well when, you know, they come out of the office, they definitely have the information they need so when all that information you gave them processes, they can reflect mm -hmm. back on the notes. Yeah, there's usually, oh gosh, you know, there, there are usually a half a dozen or so things that are going on in the person's life that seem to be the most predominant influences um, that are directing the quality of their life. And so I focus on those major things and what I find is that I've seen people with a list of symptomology that runs a mile long. And there are so many correlations between them that when we, when we settle on the major issues, then all the tiny little things just seem to clear up. As the body comes back into balance, so many systems start working appropriately. It's, it's really like magic for us. Yep, and that's, that's what it is, just getting the body to... Um work together and uh, I'm sorry Chris I'm chuckling because <laughs> my engineer and the thing is trying to send have me look at a note and I literally am so blind I cannot read it but we have some interference going <laughs> and I wanted to make sure that our listeners um, do not hear the interference and no they, they don't it's they, not on the air okay good okay because I want to make <laughs> sure they're hear hearing <laughs> every word Chris has to say and the interference Absolutely. was in my ears yeah. all right we're good to go all right sorry Chris okay. Um, no okay, so yeah, so we got a, I got a little off track, but you know, and it's funny because you keep saying this, and I don't know if um, the listeners are catching this, but you know, emotionally, you would you address it too with 
with the people that you that come to see you and that's such an important part that a lot of people are missing out on that information that you know you can lead you know very good lifestyle choices with food but if emotionally you have you know relationships or um, job that is really causing you severe distress it will have an extremely negative impact on your health and some people don't get yeah. the connection with those two things I know and, and <laughs> one of the more challenging people that I get to be to, to see is are people that are really well read I mean, there, there are so many people out there that are watching the summit and they're going to Dr. Google and they're <laughs> learning biochemistry and they come in and they're actually really well educated and um, many of them know more than most of the doctors out there when it comes to how to, how to live a life in balance. But, you know, in the back of some of these people is a level of anxiety. And they are sometimes so focused in getting the exercise program, getting the supplements in. You take this supplement in and that supplement in and this supplement in and they're doing this so perfectly. Yet, behind their life, they've had some real trauma. It is so devastating to some people that they just can't seem to get to heal that because it's you know, a real emotional challenge. And that would be sometimes the most driving factor in their life. So we've got to look at ourselves as biochemistry. We're put together with a bunch of building blocks. All the building blocks communicate together through many different systems. And we're spiritually natured and we're emotional natured. And it all goes together with the circadian rhythm of the planet and how we interact with that. You know, it's, it's so simple in some respects, yet profoundly complex when you look at all the little bits and pieces. That very, very true. And you know, when I was on your website, um, you were talking about longevity. Um, this article um, was longevity and how it's a choice and how. Um, I think it will you have so many great articles and I read them all so maybe I might be <laughs> mixing them all up into one but you were talking about the cells and how like the brain and the cells and everything can repair and can um, get stronger and better do you want to um, tell the listeners a little bit because if anyone knows cells you definitely know cells <laughs> and kind of what they show you and how you know that it does work that way well um You know, in, in one grouping of cells that we've learned uh, for many, many years, and for hundreds of years, it's like the brain. When I was growing up, <clears throat> you got what you got, and if you break what you got, boy, are you in trouble, because uh, the brain doesn't repair itself. And what we're coming to find now is, is that, yes, in fact, the brain can repair itself. And there are a number of influences that go into why the brain may start to fail, and there's a lot of things that you can do to help to promote stem cell production in the brain so that the brain can start integrating better with the body. And honestly, the brain pretty much controls everything. So if our brains are starting to fail, you better bet that our bodies are going to start to fail in some respect too. Very intimate relationship. Okay. And so how do we... Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. So you know we, what, Chris... I, I, I'm just curious. Um, I'm getting a couple um, text messages um, from my listeners saying that yeah. you're going in and out. Um, so uh -oh. is it maybe are you on speaker? I am not. I'm on a, I'm on a headset. Can you hear? Um, yeah, you're going mm -hmm. a little bit in and out with me too. So I just want to make sure because you're so um, amazing and knowledgeable, I want to make sure my listeners can hear. So we're going to take a quick okay. break, stay on the line with us, and we are going to figure yeah. this out, okay? Okay. All righty, stand by. We'll be back with more Joanne's World of Nutrition in two minutes. Guiding the Treasure Coast in health, one person at a time. That's their motto at Joanne's Nutrition World, Suite 121, in the historic arcade building on US 1, downtown Fort Pierce. Joanne brings more than 25 years of experience in the natural health industry right here to you. Take advantage of this free personal guide to wellness and good health. Meet with Joanne herself and get started. 
Nutrition World always provides you with the hottest new product lines, natural and homeopathic remedies, herbals, and best of all, expert advice from the people who care. Call Joanne at 464-3598, 464-3598, and learn the correlation between diet and great health. Stop in today. The expert guidance to health is always free at Nutrition World. Nutrition World, Suite 121 in the Arcade Building, US 1, downtown Fort Pierce. Hey, it's Dr. Ravi at Tradition Family Chiropractic. We are dedicated to serving you and your family with integrity, compassion, and innovative care through the most advanced chiropractic care ever in chiropractic history, encouraging your health and your family's health to its maximum potential on a regular basis. Call us today at 772-345-0060 or schedule online at traditionhealth.com for your free consultation. Gut pain? Curamin is your safe, effective answer. Curamin from Terry Naturally doesn't just mask pain, it gets to the source and stops it. Get results or your money back. Gut pain? Get Curamin. Get Curamin at Joanne's World of Nutrition. US 1 at Orange Avenue across from City Hall in downtown Fort Pierce. Or visit joannesnutritionworld.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA, and this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Curamin is for the use of occasional muscle pain due to exercise or overuse. This is WPSL Fort St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. Welcome back to Joanne's World of Nutrition, brought to you by Nutrition World. Once again, here's your host, Joanne Seeger. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry about the difficulty uh, a couple minutes ago, but I definitely don't want you to miss a word of what uh, Chris Allison, who is my guest today, has to say. He's great. And if you are just tuning in, Chris Allison uh, does take appointments once a month at my store. So if you call Nutrition World, four six four three five nine eight um he books rather quickly um very affordable uh and it's i think we just have about a few morning appointments left um for the last tuesday of this month which is the 24th so if um you definitely want to check out chris again very affordable great information and hopefully we can hear him loud and clear now hey chris <laughs> hey joanne Oh, it's much better in my ears, so hopefully oh. the listeners are good, too. Um, yeah, it was really challenging. I felt like I was getting a brain aneurysm trying to, uh. like, really focus on your voice. It was, like, in and out, in and out. All right, so, um, all right, well, we so. Were, we, were, we were talking about uh, longevity, and I, I started off with talking about the brain because the brain is so important for our longevity, not just our memory, but... Um, all, the way that the body, the way that the brain communicates and regulates all of our different body systems. And so, but when we get from the brain, then we have to talk about the gut because there's a tremendous uh, correlation between the gut and the brain. And there's this uh, really important part of our gut that's called the secretary IGA barrier, or just really just the filter that filters out the good stuff that we want to absorb and the challenging stuff that we want to get rid of in the morning. And then there's the blood-brain barrier. And as these barriers, which are supposed to regulate what comes into us and goes out of us, goes out of balance, then we get inflammation. So part of the trick to staying young and healthy and vital as time goes on is making sure that our inflammatory markers are low. That's because, in part, the inflammation interrupts the ability of many of our body systems to communicate appropriately. So we have to we get to <clears throat> eat a diet that's uh, healthy for our bodies, make sure that we're absorbing the raw material so that we can build our tissue up, make sure that we're getting hormone balances and neurochemistry that's working in, in harmony with each other. And we also have to power all this up. So in our cells, we have the little organelles called mitochondria, and they are another key aspect of us staying young and vital as time goes on. Because these mitochondria are basically the power plants that make energy, and there's dozens and dozens and dozens of things that will affect the ability of these mitochondria to make energy. So 
as we are getting older, typically, people make less energy in the mitochondria. And if you've ever talked to a five years old, they're, they're running around like crazy. And the 45 years old that's trying to take care of them is oftentimes a bit exhausted. Because, you know, kids tend to make a lot of energy. And as we get older, they tend to make less energy. So <clears throat> as we are living our lives in a way that helps our body signal appropriately, our brain works appropriately, communicate with the rest of the body, and we're making energy, that's a really good place to start to be able to live long, healthy, vital, and strong. Yeah, definitely. And I know that um, th there's so much talk right now about the microdome, even, you know, causing um, a genetic difference when the baby passed through, you know, the mother's microdome um, in the birth canal and the connection with the brain. And so I love when you're addressing, you know, your clients that you're basically, you know, working with them to make the most of their microdome and making sure, like you just stressed, it's what you're absorbing. You want to make sure the bad stuff is leaving and the good stuff is working with the cells and the tissues to rebuild properly. And um, it's, and go ahead. That microbiome is, um, in many respects, it is a major part of the, how our body works, but and in other respects, it's really not our body at all because we have our cells, which is like Joanne has Joanne's brain and eyes and muscles and skin, but Joanne also has trillions of bugs and critters that are living with you, that are living, <laughs> I know it sounds disgusting. So I sound really like true. a Hilton hotel here. <laughs> Look at that. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, but these trillions of bacteria, they are all manufacturing uh, compounds that uh, are good for them. And hopefully, if we have the appropriate probiotic and bacteria throughout our body, they're making compounds that are good for us, too. So when we are living our lives and eating the foods that are good for our microbiome, then the microbiome, in turn, is making healthy compounds for us. And it's a very symbiotic relationship. If we're living in, an, in, in a way that <clears throat> is creating stress on the microbiome, then we, believe it or not, they have intelligence. And their community has communication. And if the community starts going out of balance and they start producing um, fight or flight compounds for them because they're not being treated well, well, then those compounds push us out of balance. So it's really important that we work to live in harmony with the environment that we know of, like our world. And it's also really important that we work in harmony with the microbiome, which is really like another world that lives within us and on us. Okay. So, you know, sometimes I get overwhelmed because, you know, even with the knowledge that I have, I find it difficult today to really do what you just stressed that is so important, living in balance with our environment and then keeping our microdome and all those little critters inside us that keep us healthy, you know, well nourished. And do you have any tips for the audience? I don't want to, um, you know, I don't <laughs> sure. want to, I don't want to leave them hanging like, okay, fine, this is what we need, but how do we do it? <laughs> how do we, how do we get there? Um, you know, I have an advantage in some respects because my grandmother's they love to cook, and they cooked old world food. And so it just so happened that what my grandparents cooked, my grandma cooked, the cabbages and the broccoli and the carrots and the stews, things that were grown back then, they were fairly local, from the farm to the plate, <clears throat> lots of veggies, virtually nothing processed. All of those things are natural to nature, it's natural to our body, it's natural to our microbiome, and it helps our microbiome be healthy. So really, in some respects, it, some of it is as simple as choose um, ethically raised whole food products and eat lots of them. You know, stay away from things that come out of a box or a bag that's in process or has ingredients in it that you can't read and have no idea what it is. But if it's grown at the market down the street, or if it's grown, well, even honestly, I like to say, and I eat a bunch of avocados that probably come from Mexico, those are great. Because they're grown 
always really well. You don't have to worry about it. Well, I guess I'll talk a little bit about the clean 15 and the dirty dozen. Are you familiar with Yes, heard of that? we've mentioned it a few times in the show, but please bring it up again um, in case there's any newbies listening. <laughs> so, like, it's just so what we are understanding is that a lot of farmers are using a lot of chemicals. And um, they use chemicals because the chemicals help the plants to grow better and they keep the insects off. But there are a bunch of vegetables that really the insects don't like to eat. So if the insects aren't eating them, they don't have to spray the chemicals on them. If they don't have to spray the chemicals on them, then we can just eat those normal like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, asparagus. Those are foods that they don't have to spray, so you're safe in buying those conventional. Then there are foods that even though they spray, you peel them. So some foods like avocados and bananas and citrus and foods like that, melons that you can peel, you're peeling off the chemicals, so that really doesn't affect it. Then there are foods that they are tremendously safe. The bugs love to eat them, we love to eat them, but they oftentimes have a lot of chemicals. So those are things like apples and berries and what else? Believe it or not, spinach and kale these days have a lot of chemicals on them. So yeah. if you want to go to Dr. Google, Google Clean 15, Thirty dozen, you put the list, and that'll help you to determine what you can buy conventionally and what you have really out of it. Yeah. Yeah, and, the, and so it, yeah, you can. I would definitely print those lists in like the smaller um, size so you can keep them with you while you're shopping, because it does get overwhelming when you're in these produce sections. Even things that look so bountiful and fresh that it could be the worst offenders you know <laughs> and i always say the things that are really popular sometimes unfortunately are definitely the most toxic you know, know so. spinach looks great but you really need to buy them like that yep exactly and and sometimes washing does not take off the junk so <laughs> well, it, it does fortunately it does take the e coli off i know you know every once in a while we have e coli scares <laughs> well that's life. a good thought yeah. yeah at least take that <laughs> off <laughs> gross we'll take it. Right. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. So, so the good nutrition. But I know you and I both agree that there's something that everyone's ingesting every day that's really detrimental. The flour products. Um, you want to oh. remind our listeners why to stay away from flour. <clears throat> yeah, um, and it's it's really pretty much an American thing. As far as my my consideration is problem is in America. If you agreed. Travel to, agreed, yes. Yeah. If, you, if you travel to Europe, people eat the bread, they eat the pasta, they have no problem. People don't, until recently, until they were westernized and started eating our food, they're really actually quite healthy people. And that's pretty much the same all around the world. And But what happened in this country is that uh, <laughs> with the idea of growing more food and per acre, they started to really cross the wheat specifically. <clears throat> and so they've taken something that is faster than a really healthy food, and they've prospered it to the point where um, they've, new proteins were added to it that were never in wheat before. The amount of gluten that's in wheat has gone tremendously high. So the, the moderately inflammatory protein, gluten, and the beans that come from that are, are really in abundance in the wheat that's been in this country. And they, they did all this crossbreeding and genetic modification before the new organic standards came online. So this really franken food is now included in an organic standard in this country. So, you know, unless you're buying a bread product that is legitimately either made in Europe or made with imported grains, I just stay away from the whole lot. Yeah, that's, and, it's so unfortunate, too. Ugh. It is. And then, you know, and, and about 15 years ago or so, uh, this company we all love to hate, Monsanto, taught the farmers that if they spray Roundup on their wheat, not only would it kill the wheat so they could plant the wheat sooner, but they'd get more seed out of it, and it, it dried it out because it died. So now virtually all of the American wheat products, whether it's cereals or crackers or bread, or pasta. Um, it ha is cross-bred to the point of not being anything like it was originally, and spread with Roundup. So you're eating Roundup 
and their food at the same time. And they're spraying Roundup on wheat, barley, and that's the beer product that people drink beer, rye, and oats. So, you know, there's nothing inherently wrong with those foods. I think they, they were on the planet for a really long time. We've been eating them for a really long time. But in this country, they're just really messed up. Definitely. And I know that um, everyone's talking about now the glycosides, the bromides, the fluorides, and you know, and oh. then, and it's, and even like, you know, it's so infiltrated and things are dunked in these chemical baths and solutions. And, you know, it's, it's hard to get away from them. But again, we're not going to be all doom and gloom on the show. We, like you mentioned earlier, if you consume, you know, the healthier whole foods and try to stay away from those, your cells have a fighting chance to do what they were meant to do, which is you know, keep our longevity in check and keep us feeling better. Um, but what is your um, thoughts on supplements and um, how they should be used um, to try to, you know, have the body work to its most efficient level? Yeah, um, I'm very much in this country. I'm very much of a supplement recommender. And it's because um, when we think about the nutrition that's in the food, Everybody can pretty much agree that the amount of nutrition that we have in all of the food that's grown commercially these days is much less than it was before. But I read uh, I read an article a while ago that indicates that we've really been having a problem with our soils for a lot longer than we think. And um, back in the 1930s, the farmers got together and started talking about the quality of soils, and they actually were concerned enough to write a letter to Congress and say, hey, look at guys. You know, our soils are going bad, and we're going to we're going to eat ourselves into starvation unless we do something. So back then, the government listened to the people's Twitter, and they developed this organization, the USDA, and so now the USDA thinks that they're basically been tracking the food quality. And if you look at the amount of nutrition according to the USDA charts, that's in food grown in 1930 compared to today, you'd have to eat on average about 10 servings of food today for every one serving from 1930. And nobody is going to do that. Definitely and, not, yeah. <laughs> and even back, gosh, I think, it, I think it was in the 30s or maybe the 40s, they, they were having, we were having in this country, a problem with goiters in the United States. So they, they isolated it down to the idea that the iodine in the soil was so low, that people weren't getting enough iodine in their food. And that was affecting the thyroid and people were getting goiters. So they put iodine in the salt. And, you know, then, uh, then the goiters went away and everybody was using more salt and all the other iodized salt. And so more recently, now we have the pink salt, whether it's the USA salt from Utah or the Himalayan salt, as you know, both places. And, and that has no iodine in it. So there's a lot of people out there these days that are starting to have iodine problems again because we're not using iodized salt. So as far as supplements go, there is an optimal level of nutrition that our bodies are really meant to work with. And if we're not getting that, then whatever compounds are made from the nutrients that we don't have enough of, we are not going to have enough of. And that will definitely affect the way that our body is able to communicate and manufacture uh, compounds and enzymes. So we all really get to have um, a good multivitamin. Magnesium is extremely extremely low in our soils, and magnesium, there's a different kinds of magnesium, and glycinate, and um, it's one of my favorites, citrate, and um, people don't stay out in the sun like they used to, so you got to need a vitamin D, and, um, and that's, that's our brain, I made out of mostly oil, and one third of the oil that's in our brain is supposed to be DHA. So if we're able to get some fish oils in or some krill oils, and that helps to stabilize our brain and our nervous system and keep the inflammation down. And, you know, then we get to process out the chemicals. I think pretty much everybody knows that we live in a fairly toxic environment these days. So we get to live in ways that helps our bodies to cleanse. We get to take supplements sometimes that help our bodies to cleanse. And so that's the beginning of some of the things that might be helpful. Yeah, that sounds like a... I have all those things in my repertoire, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> um, 
And Chris, I know, um, like me, that you love um, MCT oil. Um, can you tell um, the listeners why you uh, sometimes suggest that? Yeah. You know, we were talking a little bit about cellular energy. And um, these little mitochondria, they work really well by burning glucose, and they work really well by burning um, ketones and oils. And so in our society, there's a lot of emphasis on carbohydrates. Not that carbohydrates are necessarily bad for us, but in our society, the kinds of carbohydrates are oftentimes empty. High glycemic, they turn into glucose in our bloodstreams really quickly. It accelerates our insulin release, and then we have too much insulin, and the cells don't respond to it as well. So carbohydrates or glucose our body, for a lot of people, end up becoming a problem. And so if we give our mitochondria or ourselves a different fuel to burn and make energy from, then oftentimes brains, which are very glucose sensitive, will start to diminish if our glucose isn't able to get into the cells very well and is very much augmented if we give them the MCTs and the ketones that come from that. So I've had a, just a tremendous number of people that were having all sorts of brain degeneration that couldn't remember what was going on, what they had for lunch yesterday, where their keys were, why they walked into the room. And then they start taking MCT and developing ketones, and all of a sudden their brain starts to light back up again, and they feel energetic as our brain innervates the rest of our body and their memory comes back. Yeah, it definitely gets rid of that brain fog feeling. I definitely, you know, uh, Matt and I, we always put it in our coffee in the morning, you know, make that little bulletproof coffee. Um, how much do mm -hmm. you take a day? I'm just curious how much you, MCT you're using these days. You know, it's, um, I use I use a fair amount, but I'm, I'm well adapted to it. So I'll do sometimes personally, this is just me personally, sometimes I'll do two or three tablespoons a day. Um, but... Um, there are a lot of people that just can't do that. Yeah, a little, a little much for their bowels too, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it is an oil. And these oils, they need to be metabolized in order to be used. And if they're not metabolized and used and absorbed, well, what ends up happening is we get an oil slick in our digestive tract and everything gets lubed up and it can be a little bit of an issue. So um, we, de we develop, as we start using the oil, our bodies start to produce more of the enzymes and the emulsifiers that is used in, in, in utilizing the oil. So you start off small, maybe a teaspoon, see how that goes, and you know, go to two teaspoons and start slowly. And then as you're starting slowly, the body will start to manufacture what it needs to be able to process these oils better so you can take more and get better results. Okay, that's, yeah, that's what I tell everyone, and um, so far everyone's really doing well with MCT. Chris, we're going to take another quick break, and we're going to come back. Um, so thanks again, everyone, for listening. It's um, My guest is Christopher Allison, so if you want to go to his website, it's ChristopherAllison.com, and we will be back in just a minute. Gut pain? Curamin is your safe, effective answer. Curamin from Terry Naturally doesn't just mask pain, it gets to the source and stops it. Get results or your money back. Got pain? Get Curamin. Get Curamin at Joanne's World of Nutrition, US 1 at Orange Avenue across from City Hall in downtown Fort Pierce. Or visit joannesnutritionworld.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA and this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Curamin is for the use of occasional muscle pain due to exercise or overuse. Hey, it's Dr. Ravi at Tradition Family Chiropractic. We are dedicated to serving you and your family with integrity, compassion, and innovative care through the most advanced chiropractic care ever in chiropractic history, encouraging your health and your family's health to its maximum potential on a regular basis. Call us today at 772 345-0060 or schedule online at traditionhealth.com for your free consultation. 
Guiding the Treasure Coast in health, one person at a time. That's their motto at Joanne's Nutrition World, Suite 121, in the historic arcade building on US 1, downtown Fort Pierce. Joanne brings more than 25 years of experience in the natural health industry right here to you. Take advantage of this free personal guide to wellness and good health. Meet with Joanne herself and get started. Nutrition World always provides you with the hottest new product lines, natural and homeopathic remedies, herbals, and best of all, expert advice from the people who care. Call Joanne at 464-3598, 464-3598, and learn the correlation between diet and great health. Stop in today. The expert guidance to health is always free at Nutrition World. Nutrition World, Suite 121 in the Arcade Building, US 1, downtown Fort Pierce. We return now to Joanne's World of Nutrition with Joanne Seeger. Hey, everybody. Happy Thursday. Uh, we just have a few minutes left of the show, and we're talking to Chris Allison. Um, the store is blessed to have him come once a month. The last Tuesday of every month, Chris Allison comes to the store and does blood testing. They're 30-minute appointments. He gets full really fast, everyone. Sometimes we're booked for um, two months out. So, But Jen, um, I called her on my way to the show, and she says he does have a couple morning spots available. Um, so if you are interested in an appointment with Chris, uh, call 464-3598-772. 464-3598 and Jen can book an appointment for you. Um, so Chris, they come in and I know um, you have a rule, no eating for two hours before the appointment. Um, why is that necessary? You know, our, our blood is the nutrient superhighway. So basically when we eat whatever it is we're eating, wild salmon or a salad or olive oil or whatever it happens to be. Uh, aren't you hopeful? <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm what about helpful. a Dixie cream donut on the way, huh? <laughs> well, there you go. You're going to pound a Dixie cream donut and enjoy it for sure. Don't feel guilty. About and it will be your last if you're going to see Chris. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So um, sorry. I had to throw that in. Go ahead. <laughs> but all of that nutrition has to travel through your bloodstream to get to the tissue that it's going to be supplying nutrition to. So if you're eating things that have leucine in it, such as your, your prostate on a man or your brain or your eyes, it has to go through your bloodstream. So part of, part of the two hours is I don't want to be seeing your Dixie cream donut or the salad <laughs> or any of that other stuff floating around in your bloodstream. And it takes, it takes about two hours or so to clear out a normal meal so that I can have a good, good clean shot of what's going on in the blood. Okay. Two hours is pretty good in part because... Um, you know, a lot of we have a gallbladder, and the gallbladder helps to hold the bile, and the bile helps to emulsify or make the oil water soluble so that can be absorbed. You know, and sometimes it's an insight into what's going on with the gallbladder or your liver if we're unable to clear some of the food or the fatty acids from our food, and I still see that in your bloodstream. So that's pretty much it. Bloodstream is a nutrient superhighway. Don't want to see all the food. Okay. If Now, if I waited, you know, I sometimes feel like I want to overachieve. If I waited three hours, would you have a more accurate image or would it not matter? Mm -hmm. No, it's all, it's all influences. So if I, if you come in and you, you ate whatever your pixie cream was, <laughs> <laughs> two hours beforehand and I saw a bunch of fatty acids in your bloodstream, I can kind of determine the efficiency of your, your bile and your gallbladder by what I'm seeing in the bloodstream. So... Whether it's two hours or four hours, or you're in a fast overnight, it, it just gives me different kinds of insight into what is going on with your diet. Okay. And I know um, there's been so many customers that just come back, um, you know, almost like it seems like every other month with you and that you're, um, they're feeling better and better and they get really good reports from you um, if they're following your suggestions. Is the cells um, themselves, like you can see from their first beginning reading to, like, say, 60 days later, the changes in their cell structure? Like, as I know, you show images of each cell and what they look like when maybe they're not Absolutely. performing at their best. Absolutely. So when, we're, when, when, I'm, when 
we're going to be sitting there together. And we're both going to be looking at the screen at the same time. So I'll be able to show you all of these things that, that are going on in real time while you're sitting there. So you can ask questions. What is this? What is that? What does that mean? And I'll be able to explain it. In the, in the cells themselves, what we're looking at are the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and all sorts of stuff that will end up showing up in the plasma. And that plasma is just the water that holds everything in your blood. And um, so, yes, so when people come in the first time, oftentimes there's an awful lot to see. I make suggestions and they come back and, you know, maybe the plasma is cleaned up, maybe the red blood cells are cleaned up, but I get to track people to find out what influences are really causing the problem, which ones are working for them. So, um, yeah, there's sometimes profound changes between the first time and the second time I've seen it. And other people have a little bit more work. All right. Well, if those morning spots don't taken up, aren't taken up, Matt and I are going to book our appointments. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give customers a couple days fighting chance for those spots. But, um, you know, I was telling Matt last night about everything, and he's like, well, I want to see him. I want to get in there. <laughs> so, um, And I know, too, um, like Jen is a great example. When you first saw her, like you were clearly showing her how um, – like the an anemia and how her iron wasn't being utilized properly. And gosh, she like really um, did so much better with your suggestions. So thank you for that. And, and so many of my other customers. So, and again, the way yeah. you, your information comes across, it's like so non judgy and um, just really informative. So if you're listening, um, I know sometimes health is overwhelming and there's so many different opinions or um, information out there. But to have a visual, like I love visuals, to see bl your blood, your cells interacting on your screen, um, like that's a great visual. So now you have like this, okay, this little motivation like to come back and see your cells doing a little better, a little happier dance. Oh, really? We're, oh my gosh, we're out of time, Chris. Um, oh. So I guess I'll see you on the 24th, and <clears throat> Matt and I will be your first appointments if no one else steals them from us. So um, thank you again um, for, you know, this last minute spot on the show, and I hope you have a great day. Well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure, and take care. All right, take care, Chris. Well, everyone, that was Chris Allison, and he will be at the store on the 24th. Once again, um, Matt and I will be taking those spots if you guys don't want them. So um, hope everyone has an awesome week, and next week is with Dr. Ravi. Um, so have an amazing week, and talk to you soon. The 24th for Christopher Allison at Joanne's World of Nutrition. Call Nutrition World later on and tell Joanne you want to show up, too. This is WPSL Port St. Lucie.